Well, guys, Street Fighter V. What do I think of it? Am I excited? Meh. But wait a minute before you get medieval on my ass, let me explain. Calm down, take it easy. Here I go. The thing is that the first time I encountered Street Fighter 2 was in an arcade. And man, I was hooked. I never seen a fighting game like that in my life. And I think that was like the granddaddy of fighting games. I know, Karate Champ, but you know, that's another story for another video. The thing is that there was this place where you rented games. Yes, I know kids, you never heard of that, you freaking millennials. But there used to be places where you paid money and you rented games. So I know that doesn't exist anymore. But the thing is that the place in Panama was called New Games. And I won a Street Fighter 2 for the SNES. I wanted to rent it. And there was a waiting list. I had to wait one month. One month to rent the game. And I did. I rented the game for a week. I put so many hours into the game until finally I begged my dad, like, please buy me that game. Please buy me that game. And the thing is that, well, he did. And at that time, here in Panama, it was it was an SNES or Super Famicom and it cost 90 bucks. And I still have it. And here it is. It's freaking awesome, Street Fighter 2. I still love that game. So the thing is that after that, it came Street Fighter 2 Turbo. And I told my dad again, like, please buy me that game. And after months and months of begging, he did. And there it is, Street Fighter 2 Turbo for the Super Famicom. I fell in love with these characters, each and every one of them, and I knew them like they were part of my family. Street Fighter 3 came out after a bajillion years later, and what happened? They changed all the characters. All the characters you grew up with, that you learned to love and respect, and you know what? I hated that game. So I kind of compared Street Fighter 5 with Street Fighter 3. I think it's in the middle ground because, you know, it has like, um, new characters and it has like memorable characters but the thing is that you know maybe it's just me because you know I can adapt and I'm an old school guy so that's where I stand did somebody say old school shit oh my god you again okay what are you doing here Neil what's up what do you want God damn it! You hit my heart with that little rant of yours. You're right. I remember all that. I remember Street Fighter 3. It divided me too. But I kind of like Street Fighter 3. If I gotta tell you something, I like that game. You did? I did like it. Everybody is re-releasing games. I know. Like, up and down and right and left and the economic code, whatever. I know. But... You know, in my time... My you know, time too, brother! It's my time too! Okay, whatever. The oh. daddy of re-releasing games was Capcom. <laughs> and shout out to Capcom, the original OG Pirates! Well, so what? they re-released Street Fighter 2, the Super, the Champion Edition, that everyone... I have a tons of Street Fighter 2 re-releases. i give and you they that. Did for the PlayStation 2, Street Fighter 2, the anniversary. Uh, for the PlayStation 1, Street Fighter 2, the collection. The collection. Uh, Super Street Fighter, the collection. What's so super uh, about it? I don't know what's this doing here, but Super Shot Soccer. What? Street Fighter Soccer? Street Fighter Alpha, the anthology. What is this, the jungle? The re-releases of Street... Okay, this is Tekken, this doesn't count. <laughs> oh, the re-releases of Street Fighter 4. Yeah. Yes, 4, right. Yes, so I know that they're gonna do the same with Street Fighter V, don't you think? Gakamo, my new frenemy, former brother from another mother. What do you want? Oh, what do I want? Oh, what if I told you, you scallywack, that there's more Street Fighter II Famicom games that the original re-releases. You know what I think? What? I call bullshit on that you one. You call me a liar? Prove it! Oh, man. Ah, here you go. Remember I told you I was a Street Fighter fan? Well, this is a Street Fighter 3, my favorite of the series, the one you hate. Do and you take the challenge? And I take the uh, challenge. Alright, let's 
Why? Do this! Yes, do it. Right off the bat, this doesn't sound or look like a Street Fighter 3. But whatever, let's press start. So, I don't get it. This is supposed to be Street Fighter 3, but it's just Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior. Ah. I am gonna pick what? Ryu! I bet you're gonna pick Ryu! You're one of them guys that picks Ryu for the Hadouken and the basic stuff! Now, I give credit where credit is due. And for a Famicom port or bootleg, a lot of effort was put into this D-Make, if you will. They went out of their ways to make sure almost every single detail was just like the original Street Fighter 2 game. <laughs> Except for one little tiny detail. Oh, that's right. They just got the name wrong. The only thing kind of weird is like the sprites are really small. You know what? This was the 90s, man. You're gonna go on on small things on the 90s. I gave you that joke on a silver platter and you didn't took advantage of it. I've been in a coffin for six months. I don't know what's left or right. And there's a cake on my mic. As always, I like to compare it side by side, and I can only say kudos for the programmers, modders, whatever. I get this. There's nine characters, yeah. and there's no E Honda or Sangif. Instead, we get Sagat, yeah. Vega, yeah. and M Bison. No Balrog, so what the hell, oh, man? Who said Balrog? Who needs Balrog in their lives? No one! Honda and Sangif are necessary, I'll give you that. The gameplay feels pretty stiff, and no surprise there. Also, something all these bootlegged games have in common is that the AI is too damn difficult. I was playing this on easy, and I still got my ass handed to me. One thing though, when you're playing this, you immediately wish you were playing the original Street Fighter 2. Even the bootlegged version of Street Fighter 3 was following Capcom footsteps because they released another version of the same game, updated, with 18 characters. Oh, I'm sorry, with 18 peoples that are the same people. Okay, I'll pick this different version of Ken. What? That's Ryu. That's not Ken. That's so obviously Ryu. You said you wanted old school, friend of me. You ain't my brother anymore, man. That's old school. Ah, <sighs> this is more like it. The real Street Fighter 2, the World Warrior. Wait, what? Yoko Soft, 1992. These must be the genius behind this. Let's start, shall we? Are you kidding me? You couldn't even fit the original 8 fighters? Okay, okay, let's get this over with. All I gotta say is the music gets a lot better than Street Fighter 3, and that's not saying much. At least it kinda sounds like a violated version of the original. Oh, dude! What? Sound effects! It's supposed to be a hurricane kick, but it's like a machine gun on your ears! Ah! Well, what were you expecting? To be at the back of the line in the arcade? This is the real stuff, clown! That's 90s sound! What do you want, man? This is torture! This is madness! This is madness. Madness, you say? This is Famicom! I'm supposed to hit you now, but I got no legs. Let me show you how it's done. Oh, that was pretty cool. Right to the mother. Oh man, my mustache fell off. Uh, let me put it back on. Again, the sprites are decent, although sometimes the proportions of the characters are not accurate. For example, Shun Li looks like a giant standing next to most of the characters. That's some 90s Famicom graphics, get it! Shut up! Ah, I'm gonna sell, I'm gonna sell your hits, you're not clicking out. Okay, okay. ah. Yoko Sok, the masterminds, got right, the versus screen, the continuous screen, 
and even Ryu's victory quote, which make us question, who the hell is Shen Long? At least in those days, we had no idea. But, ah, what if I would tell you that we even have the prequels and not the George Lucas prequels? Street Fighter Alpha! Alright, Neil, you mean Street Fighter Alpha 2? Who keep making these? 1997? And I just found out this existed? This year 2016? Oh my god, I guess ignorance is a bliss. And all those people that are complaining about Street Fighter 5, you should look at this video, you should look at this game and pay worship to your pirate forefather! <laughs> oh man, that was. I saw that. I've learned since the first video. I'm a wrestler too, I guess. I need to sell for this clown. What is wrong with these people? Who are they trying to fool? <sighs> Anyway, for the most part in every Famicom bootleg, they always multiply the same characters and they will make us think. At least that's what they want. They want to make us believe there are more characters. God! Oh my god, please! How many more Street Fighter games can you have over there? Please tell me it's over! <laughs> this is no fake laughter. You think this is over? Please say yes. I've been plotting this for months. You want... Uh, wait for it. You want Street Fighter games? Oh. I'm gonna give you some Street Fighter. I'm aiming for the head. There you go. <laughs> did I hit it? I totally did, right? I don't want it. High five, crowd. That last one was... The third one was the one, right? <laughs> this is my title now. Steal the pirate channel. No? No, I guess not. Ah! The backgrounds were ripped straight from Street Fighter Alpha 1, and their proportions are god awful. The characters were shrunk, I don't know. I'm already falling asleep by playing this, man. But you should just look at this crap. It's like somebody puked all over the background. Believe it or not, they even do the super moves, and guess what? Oof. Only pussies need levels. Here, it's infinite, baby. Spam that shit like crazy. Whoopsie, and I forgot to mention Street Fighter Alpha 2, the game, the Famicom version, was made in 1997 by the Hummer team. These guys are going places. Yo sono disposto a yeah, collaborare. <laughs> I played Street Fighter 2. Barely. I played Super Street Fighter 2. Really bad. I played Street Fighter 2 with Mario from the Mario like Brothers. Like a scallywack. But I did. Super Street Fighter 2 with 20 people. Ah, barely. Meh, debatable. So, tell me, Neil, that it's over. That that's it. No more Street Fighter bootlegged games. I'm gonna tell right? you. I'm gonna tell you something, clown. I'm gonna get my hook. Yeah. You think this is over? You really think I'm done? I hope so. I ain't done, you clown. We used to be friends. I thought you knew me better than that. I got another ace up my sleeve. Street Fighter 4. <laughs> Play it now if you dare. Well, excuse me, Gouter Corporation or company. I guess you pulled out a Back to the Future because you made Street Fighter 4 in 1993. All rights reserved, by the way. They were sure proud of this one. This game is original, and I'm using that word very loosely. Let's get the bat out of the way first. This game wants you to think it has a lot of characters. Gee, where have I heard that one before? Uh, excuse me, Neil. Excuse yourself, you traitor. That's not Street Fighter 4, man. What? Okay, who are these characters? 
Who in the blue hell is Go Holy? Cliff? Bunny? What is this? <laughs> Clown. That's a Famicom pirate game, man. That's my family you're playing there, man. My family. At least the other ones made sense. It was Street Fighter. I mean, bad Street Fighter, but it was still Street Fighter. Some characters have different moveset, even though it's the same sprite with a different color scheme. And they have different names. But the names, man. The names. Pasta? Really? Pasta? Musashi! <sighs> if only I was that lucky. Okay, I'll pick this guy right here. Hot damn! That's an epic versus screen. I guess. What? Ranbu? Seriously? Ranbu? Well, at least nothing can be worse than that. Stalong? Stalong! Stalong! Oh, come on! Some characters have the animations from the Street Fighter personas. I guess that's where they got the Street Fighter name for this game, right? Like, you'll see the typical Dragon Punch, Hadouken... Wait, what? That wasn't a straight Hadouken? Oh. The Hurricane Kick... What? <laughs> Oh my god, we memories! Oh, nightmares! <laughs> For example, Rambu has many moves ripped straight from Guile. Speaking of which, you thought Guile was a manly man? Fighting in the army base next to the Jets? Hell no! Rambu stage He's fighting on the top of some sort of tank. Miracle Man! The rest of the backgrounds are animated and detailed. They also match the personality, I mean, the lack of personality of the characters. Surprisingly, there's more good than bad in Street Fighter 4. I just can't believe I just named this game Street Fighter 4! Okay, okay. Uh, focus, Karkamo. Focus. You're almost done. Focus. Uh, where was I? I told you time and time again, this is Famicom Headbutt! <laughs> Revenge is a uh, sweet wench! <laughs> There's cake down here, I'm just gonna walk to the plane. The music sucks. Well, it sucks. What else is new? And if you wanna listen, to these awesome tunes. This game has a sound test. Yes, a sound test. Hmm, okay. Um. Oh, okay, okay. these are the sound effects. And I'm guessing... Yep, the music. I guess there was no space to program the titles. Every kilobyte was spent on the backgrounds. Uh, wait a minute, uh, I'll help you out, brother. There you go. Oh, forgot to put exit. The controls. Actually, they're very responsive. Another thing that left me amazed is that the AI is not that hard. And if it gets cheap on you, you can get cheaper. <laughs> Die! There! I beat it! I beat all your shitty Street Fighter Famicom games! I accepted the challenge! I took it, I ripped it apart! Here's your Famicom, you can... Put it up, you're... Ah, you <sighs> rotten... Scallywag! I don't know what that means, but whatever. Clown, you think you beat me? Yes, I did. I beat your challenge. I've been waiting for this moment for so long, Cackable Gaming. You wanna play Street Fighter 5? Yes, I do. Well, not really, but yeah. You're gonna get your Street Fighter Five because it's right here. Oh my God! Street is that Fighter real? Five, and you can play as anybody. You can play as Son Goku brother, or you can play as uh, recently deceased David Bowie or Hans Gruber. He ain't my severed snake. He's Hans Gruber, 
You can play after them all, clown. That's not real. That's not real. No. This is not happening. Stop using my image. You should get a call from lawyers. I'm gonna sue you for image infringement. I actually love you still. Can you call me? I don't have a cell phone, but can you like, can we arrange something? Hey, client, what, what happened? Are you okay? You need some water? Clown? Is this my channel now? Is this Neil the Pirate Gaming? Hi! Welcome to Neil the Pirate Gaming. Um, uh, I don't really know what to do. Uh, where's the dog now? Dog? I'm gonna try to revive the client. Clown? Um, I'm just gonna eat the cake that's on the mic. If you excuse me! Mm. What is this? Like Chantilly? No, I can't be Chantilly. Mmm. That's like just straight up sugar. Mmm.